Alright, so I'm at this website, macroevolution.net, and it's compiled a lot of human-animal hybrids. Now, this is an absolutely insane topic. Very interesting because it, it really goes into depth of how life is created, how it's kind of combined, you know, how animals work, how humans are born, homunculus, all kinds of like really interesting alchemical stuff. If you've looked throughout history, and I'll scroll down this, currently I'm at the um, goat or sheep uh, cross human area, which there's a lot of them. Look at that. That kind of looks like a pig, to be honest, actually. Uh, sheep human hybrid birth by a sheep. And you'll notice the ones, most of them, that looks like a dog, a Malaysian one. You've got videos. The ones birthed by the sheeps look, they have a human head. As you can see, it's got a humanoid head. If we go here, this one's also, I believe, it's got, yes, a human. See, so look at that. You could say maybe birth, birth defects, uh, something like that. But I want to explore the idea that maybe it is not, maybe it's a... You know, maybe this is a real, a real phenomenon. Again, look at this. It's kind of got this almost like pig-like look, which I guess is kind of humanoid look, see? It's got a very humanoid face. Again, this creature, Nigerian, it looks like, you know, it's got it's black skin. It looks like it's a half, you know, Nigerian person, half. Again, that looks like a baby. Excuse me, it's probably a little bit graphic. And you've got the idea of the centaur. Now, this is where things get interesting. If you look into the ancient Greek, Roman, you know, whatever mythology, you will see lots of accounts of half-human, half-animal hybrids. This may, these may be real, you know, the idea of the gods and such. And if you go back to the age of the gods, where there were giants, where all, all this kind of stuff, you had these. If you look at into Chinese history, especially if you watch the the Chinese anime Fox Spirit Matchmaker, it's a great anime. You should check it out. You'll they have villages full of half animal, half human things like a panda humanoid or a turtle humanoid, or you know, just all kinds of. Essentially, they're all the the yokai or I forget what they call them, yao guai. Yao Guai in Chap uh, Chinese, Yokai in uh, Japanese. The mythology is full of these. It's full of the half animal, half human hybrids. Some being more animal and some being like humanoid animals and some being more like humans, like this one, just with animal features. Again, another one here, human-like uh, offspring birthed by a goat. Now, I believe it probably looks, I think he might be dead, that one. Or sleeping, I don't know. It's got a big ball sack, doesn't it? That one's a little hard to see. And you can see this, look at that, it's got a humanoid face. You can check these out yourself if you want. And here you can see we've got lots of different um, animals and I'll go through them. For example, human pig. Got like a humanoid face, kind of like a gorilla face actually. And you've got lots of pictures from like Medi Evil. Um, well, this one's in the 18th, you know, 1896, as we can see. But you've got lots of Medi Evil pictures. Like this one looks like a, yeah, oh, it's actually, no, it's not. Um, so there's lots of accounts. Now, there's, there's accounts of dog headed people. So I'll see if there's any more pictures here. There are accounts of dog headed people, and I think cat headed people um in kind of ancient and you see a lot of these look really fucked up the ones that are shown in the indian that one's a little more normal the indian and the kind of chinese and japanese and such history look a lot more proper yeah they show essentially how are these things formed there you go. The marriage between a either a woman and an, an, and an animal or a man and an animal. Because uh, I think that changes things. I think it, you know, it changes whether, here you go, it looks like another woman. 
Archbishop of Sweden who gave a supposedly historical account of a girl raped by a bear. Yeah, right. Okay. Interesting. Anyway, human animal bear. A bear, you know, sat basically being nurtured by a... And you see an Indian woman uh, getting fucked by a bear. <laughs> I think. Indian woman married to a dog. So how do these things come about? Well, you know, sex, essentially. Or through... And here's another one. And things like Bigfoot. You know, you've got to wonder, is that some kind of... Uh, hybrid chicken, yeah, chicken, human. So again, you, if you've looked at that Russian guy's videos, he injected his own nut into the eggs. Now that's one way to do it. Of course, you could probably inject it into the chicken, you know, before it lays an egg. I would assume that's one way, human frog, or through, you know, sex. And again, it's gonna be different if it's a man screwing an animal or an animal screwing a woman. The, the child would probably be different. Now, one thing you've got to wonder is, can these, can this, can this happen straight from that, straight from, you know, from sex, essentially? Can a human-animal hybrid be born from sex? Or is it that if people, you know, they're screwing their farm animals or something, or farm animals, I mean, the animals, you know, are raping a human or, or something like that. Look at him. He looks, he's like an alien or something. Uh, again, another 15th, yeah, 15th century uh, picture. There's a lot. If you go to the 15th century and all around that, there's a lot of these pictures um, going on. Is it through telegamy? Essentially, the idea that if a, a a woman, you know, either it's a female animal or a female human or an insect or anything else, has sex with a male, usually of its, its own species, you'd imagine. The child, even if it even if it doesn't you know impregnate the the female, even if the male doesn't impregnate the female, if then the female gets impregnated by a different male later on, the the first male who fucked that female, their genetics or their look, their structure, the way they look, still influences a child. You can see this if you analyze. Uh, women and children and their children you know, women take on the look of any kind of sexual partner they've had and the child you could see it's kind of if the woman's had a lot of sexual partners it looks like the other men essentially you know, look at a prostitute's child for example they, they they look completely different to them going on so is it effect of telegamy is it that the the human isn't impregnating the animal the animal isn't impregnating the human Maybe it's that, you know, like a woman who fucks her dog, essentially. The dog isn't getting her pregnant, but that it is affecting, it is affecting um, human horses. That'd be another, that'd be a big one. That's affecting the later birth, as we see here's a, a woman centaur, and she's kind of, she isn't all fucked up. She isn't all, you know, looking like those, those bags of blob. Um, that, that you know just looked like a genetically messed up child um yeah so is it that the the thing oh damn he looks he doesn't look so good he looks sick um is it that the 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 animal the humans affecting the later birth or is it that they're actually impregnating them through you know through the sticks i don't know um and then you go to look at things like fish or mermaids you know how to, how does that work well the way that you know fish eggs are impregnated essentially the fish just kind of uh, nuts all over the ocean and then it just kind of goes everywhere you know most most sea creatures that's kind of how it works they just you know, some of them some of them have like you know internal sex but they're kind of having external uh, external sex for example what if you just nut over fake animation are you uh, what if you just nut over a bunch of fish eggs and you, and you grow that? Does that create a human fish hybrid? Or if you take the, you know, like the sperm sack of a fish and you impregnate a woman with that, does that create a human fish hybrid? As we see here with, with mermaids, um, is that how this works? Because you can look at, the, you know, fairies, for example, there are, um, there are, what would you say? There's, there's this one website 
that has all these pictures of fairies and they look like humanoid bugs and the fairies apparently were found in this underground uh, basement of some kind of some like um, I think American person from like the 18th or, or early 19th century they just had all of these these fairies and weird creatures that they've collected through apparently it's like the old the old world creatures um is that like because Paracelsus said you've got to be careful how you nut because you could create these you know you could create hybrid creatures or, or mutants he essentially said what if you just nutted in like a like a, a, a jar of water and a bunch of mosquitoes laid eggs there are they going to take on your genetics because i would imagine so it's the same way if you eat a plant or an animal you know, you're taking on like genetics from that uh, so i think there's multiple ways to do it which kind of gets us into homunculus for example yeah squirrel hybrids what the fuck <laughs> um also this goes into creature hybrids for example different animals breeding together uh, there were pictures of a pig cross a sheep. There were pictures of like a, a scorpion cross a a, um, a wasp. So apparently, not only just human animals, but animal animals, dog cow hybrids. Look at that. See, that is apparently a dog cow hybrid. Uh, yeah, that looks like a dog and a cow, doesn't it? Damn, damn that's creepy as. Yeah, dogs are a bit. Mm. As you can see, a dog is just going at it on a cow. So, I mean, if this is probably what happens in nature, you know, different animals are gonna gonna be experimenting a little bit. Let's just say that. How many of the animals that we know today are actually some hybrids? Uh, that's that's a big question. <clears throat> and I guess it kind of leads into the creation of like chimeras and the creation of, you know, experimental animals. Like they probably created them for fox raccoon, no way. They probably created them for war and for, you know, all kinds of stuff. No way. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, if I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to, I'm have to, uh, age restrict this video it's damn that raccoon he's a little bit rapey ain't he he's really trying to get get at that fox yeah geez all right raccoon dogs tanuki are ah, tanuki i mean they look like a fox and a raccoon together don't they no, these aren't raccoon fox hybrids, they're raccoon dogs. Well, I don't know, maybe, who knows? So it's uh, yeah, a bit interesting, isn't it? Cat rabbit hybrids. Uh, let's try to find some of that. So it kind of goes into the idea, you know, homunculus, some of the ideas of homunculus is essentially injecting a cow with, um, here we go, sheep, pig ones. Uh, all kinds of different animals, puma and a bee, cat and a kangaroo, that's got to be no way. Oh, look at that. Yeah, wallabies, all right. That's impossums and all that. It makes you think how many of these animals that we know today are just hybrids. And how, and um, is that kind of like, you know, everything's just kind of mixing together. Cat and a duck, no way. Cat and a squirrel, cat and a rat, cat and a horse. How the fuck did that happen? Can you imagine that? Jeez. Uh, oh, here you go. A cat fucking a chicken, yeah. Well, damn. Would you look at that? So at least report blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right. It really kind of brings a lot of interesting... Oh, jeez, that's, that's a little fucked up looking, isn't it? It's cat-rat hybrids. Mm. How many of these survive is an interesting question. How many of them are viable? And how does this work? Can you just basically take nut of anything and then take a womb or an egg or some kind of, you know, a jar? Like the idea of making a among uh, basically nutting in a jar, a cat, chicken. I already, already did that, didn't we? Oh, yeah, there's more here. Winged cats. Interesting. Um, you know, the idea of nutting in a jar, essentially, and... Um, 
and creating a homunculus just by keeping it warm. You know, apparently it would grow like the jar acting as a womb. Uh, once we really understand the idea, look at that. He's got a, a, a cat, chicken, human girlfriend by the looks of it. Probably gonna go fuck her after that. Um, yeah, how real is all this shit? This is crazy, it's crazy, isn't it? It's absolutely crazy. Go some kind of thing, yeah, a book of hybridization. Interesting. And, and then it asks the questions, can you hybridize within a plant or an animal? Uh, not an animal, a plant, an, an, an animal plant or an animal uh, mineral? You know, how far can you hybridize? Because, of course, if you eat something, you're taking on its genetics, so to speak. You're taking on its... Oh, kangaroo, yeah, that's the one that I wanted to go on to. You're taking on its genetics, um, so to speak. You're taking on its, you know, its, its matter, its form, and, and becoming part of it. The dog, there's a dog pig one. I think there's pictures of this one, yeah. Dog probably fucking the farm pig, you know, that, that's just a reconstruction. These are fake pictures. Let me find a... I know there was a real one somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Same thing, if someone, if an animal raises another animal, it's going to take on traits from it, it's going to take on its genetics, especially if it drinks some milk, you know, we probably, we're probably like part cow from drinking all that cow milk now. Dog, turkey, alleged skeleton of it. Um, so if you go back to the old world, ooh, that's a little, that's a little fried. You go back to the idea of the old world, right? You have these giants. And this kind of gets back into Atlantis when the when the North Pole wasn't frozen over. You had this race that lived there, these giant white people that were the aliens and they went around flying saucers and shit and they were hyper advanced. And these people, they went over, or these, these gods, the, you know, the Anunnaki, they went over to like Egypt and shit to mine gold and get resources, probably, you know, to do their weird science experiments, right? And they interbred, the giants interbred, you know, all the Sumerian areas and all that stuff. It shows them with the date palms, the giants grabbing the date palms. They're probably like 10 foot tall, 12 foot tall, you know. They're fucking huge. And then you've got the little tiny humans, which are about half as tall as them. They're probably like 5 foot tall, you know, something like that, 5 and a half foot. Only small people. And um, then they interbreeded with them. So it kind of, it's like an interesting thing, you know, how far can you interbreed with humans or all that kind of stuff as well? Because you've got these giant, essentially, gods who interbreed with human, with the, the, the current humans. They're not technically, they're not gods, they're humans, but, you know, it's just like a more advanced form of humans. Because they live in the cold and um, in the north, you know, north area. And then they interbreed with the people and the current intelligence of that region is enhanced because of the interbreeding it's a bit like when the, the you know the black slaves were taken over to uh, america and and basically the, the blacks interbred with the whites creating a more intelligent um you know black i think the average intelligence of the blacks is around 90 uh, i don't know 92 95 or something in america while the while in africa it's more like you know around the 70s something 75 or something like that so it goes to show you know all of this potentially these northerners you know it's kind of a different video but it's kind of a similar topic they went around all, all over the place and that's why everywhere's alien you know flying saucers giants and all this kind of shit and they interbred with the common people uh, increasing the intelligence and the idea of you know azazel giving them culture teaching them how to smith Basically, these, these giant northerners would have taught them shit, given them civilization and all that, and given them the intelligence through interbreeding. Probably just wants a bunch of, you know, it's kind of like the Spanish going over to the Latin countries and just taking on a bunch of wives. You know, every, every man wants his harem, of course. This is how things work. You know, it is what it is. But um, going on, they did trade with them civilization and, and higher intelligent genetics. Potentially, there were, um, at least if you look in kind of the Chinese and the old school medieval um, records, there's these ideas of um, like civilizations or of demons, essentially, of, of yokai, you know, you know, yaoguai, basically these, these hybridized animal people, and they would live in areas of hy you know, hybridized animal people areas because they'd be kind of like 
exiled from humanity. Though, of course, some human towns and cities would ha allow them. You know, it depend, but a lot of the time they'd probably be exiled. And imagine they would be taught how to, you know, farm and language and all this kind of stuff from certain humans, which would kind of be like their gods or whatever. Um, or maybe you'd have like one of these people that would, these hum hybridized animals that would become ultra powerful and you know, become a god of a human town, you know, protect it. I don't know. Uh, going on, the idea of the yokai where an animal would gain, you know, power and become humanoid and transform. Is that a different thing? It might be. It might be related. Maybe that's more magical powers. They're, they're, they're literally transforming. This is more of a physical thing, this hybridization. But it's also possible that the hybrids, you know, how they look kind of fucked up and blob-like, Maybe over 10, 20, 30 years of development, they become humanoid-like enough to where they can understand language or the people just fuck those, you know, screwed up high human-animal hybrids and then they create a more humanoid, because, you know, if you're going to keep screwing it, it's going to keep um, creating more towards the human side. Assumably, the human genetics is going to win out. Um, it's kind of like in, how incest works, so to speak. It's just eventually you're going to get something which is more like yourself or like your culture or you know, whatever. You know, if you want to look at more nationalistic, um, like like breeding in a town, like in town, or in village breeding is more going to be be like that village instead of different things. Is that what happens? Where they just created, they just kept you know going down the genetic line and you know, re-screwing these, these hybrids until they got ones which are basically the dog-headed people, the cat-headed people of the, um, you know, of, of, of the medieval era. Is that what happened? I don't know, lots of thoughts. I'll end it there. You can think up this yourself. Uh, one final thing, I guess, would be the strength of the seed or the strength of the womb, which is basically, I think, in past times, People were stronger because they were phys more physically healthy. Animals were probably stronger because there was less radiation and, and um, you know, pollution and such. So this maybe happened more. Well, now maybe I would assume it happens less. I think it still happens in like rural villages where you got some person fucking a sheep or fucking a cow or whatever. You know, probably happens every so often. Um, but I think it happens a lot less, and that's why the age of the gods was one where you know the world was perfect and a golden age. And you just had more energy to, to allow this to happen. So anyway, I'll leave it with that. I hope you enjoyed a weird video, but oh, really interesting, I think. Really fascinating stuff that's like a part of history, a part of reality. And you know, if this stuff is real, if we can you know, control it, well, we could basically make designer animals, you know, animal, animal hybrids or human animal hybrids, I mean. Make cat girls, you know, make fox girls, make, make whatever kind of anime um, girl you want. Or just leave it in the robot form and just make robot cat girls. You know, either way, it is whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, of course, check the links in the description and have a nice day.